Welcome to Jason Bones Inspectors. Hey everybody, we're here with an interview. Uh, first of all, introduce yourself and... Uh, I'm Blaine, or Blaine Blaze. And so uh, let's start with the questions right off the bat, I guess. Okay, so with Jason Bones Inspectors, what, what is your role there? What, what is it that you do? <clears throat> so I'm the co-founder with Dad. Uh, so that's first and foremost. I also... I'm kind of like the overseer of the rest of the group. I mean, Dad can take care of himself, but everyone else I kind of watch over to make sure they don't do anything too ridiculous or get themselves into trouble. Kind of the protector, I guess. Uh, another thing that uh, I thought I'd ask you, uh, on different clients when actually doing the work, not, not just the uh, uh, ghost hunting or the paranormal, whatever that's called. What's that called? Para, paranormal. When we're doing the investigation. That's the one. Paranormal investigations. Uh, not just with the paranormal, but when we actually ha have actual clients and stuff, I know that you've uh, done a lot, of, a lot of cases where you use sigils um, to either lock things out of a place or lock things into a place. Uh, for instance, say an apartment building and you, you put sigils uh, to keep the darker human spirits or the darker spirits out of that apartment. So the question is, and I, and I know they work really well and, and the clients will testify to it, but where did you learn these sigils? Did you get them from a book? Uh, how did you learn these sigils in the first place? They were gifted to me through visions. So you got the, the sigils, the meanings, the, and the relationships and all that through... Yeah, every... Um, symbol or sigil or seal I have uh, was given to me through a voice and image in my head and along with how to perform it what it does and like when it's best to use so this is pretty cool stuff I mean everybody's got certain gifts like uh, my belief is everyone's got some type of gifts uh, but that one's a pretty specific uh, Pretty specific gift, I'd say. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. Um, now, when you go to locations, right, who decides who goes where in these locations? Normally, it's me. If, if I'm on the case, I say who goes where. I typically decide, well, if we go for uh, look like a quick walkthrough prior to the investigation, I like to get a feel for where everything is, and then I decide whose talents will like, get the best results at which location that way. And if we just do a spontaneous one where we just show up and do it, um, I'll use one of my other abilities is I can sense the energy, so I'll just close my mind, spread out my energy to feel what energy is around us, and then I'll match the energy to the members of our team that way. That's pretty cool. Um, is there any place that you could think of uh, that you'd like to investigate uh, either in town or out of town uh, that's on your list or one that, you know, just random? Um, actually, there is one in, I don't know if it counts as in town, one nearby that I'd like to do. Uh, which I'll mention in a moment, but for the most part, there's not specific locations I want, more like specific types of locations. Like I'd like to do hospitals, abandoned buildings, insane asylums, a prison, things like that would be really cool to do. Um, however, the one place I would like to do that's nearby specifically, 
And oddly enough, it just popped in my head when you asked this question, and I got a feeling that it'd be a good place to go, is Mount McKay. That would be an awesome place. Um, so let's make sure like, let's make sure we check into that one. You know, uh, I, I've always wanted to go there too. There's one area that I want to really uh, go and and check out there. Um, there's a couple other spots we'll talk about later. Um, is there anything else that you'd like to uh, tell about yourself or about uh, what you what you want to do this year with the with the group or anything? Um, there's nothing too specific that comes to mind. I mean, most of our long-term viewers know a lot about me already and a bit of my powers, my abilities, whatever you want to call them. And for all the newbies that haven't watched back on our older stuff, well, they'll just have to wait and find out. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> all right, then. Well, uh, once again, uh, say your name for the for the camera. All right, well, this is Blaine Blaze signing off. All right, guys. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.